What four things will definitely cause your MLM company to ultimately fail? Hi, my name is Robert Proctor, and for the last 20 years, I've been involved in the launch of more than 1,000 network marketing companies. Today, only 10% of those companies are still in business. I want to give you some tips and tools, some hints and suggestions to avoid being part of that 90% and instead be part of that 10% that succeeded. So what four things are ultimately going to cause your network marketing company to fail? And it's not four things that you would consider. And don't take this wrong because this is going to come across really harsh. Greed, stupidity, arrogance, and ego. And you could say, Robert, those things sound similar, but they're not. Let's kind of walk through it. Greed. When you're designing your compensation plan, you don't want to keep as much money as you possibly can. You want to design a compensation plan where you give away as much money as you possibly can. Now, there's a saying that I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts rather than 100% of one person's. Greed is a killer in network marketing. When you launch your company and you design your compensation plan, design your company that you can reward, recognize, and incentivize your distributors as much as possible. Stupidity. Sounds like greed, but it's not. Here's what happens in network marketing company plans, companies that are stupid that cause the companies to fail. The owners change the compensation plan for the worse. The owners increase the price of the products, or the owners decrease the price of the products because they're lending to greed. Don't be stupid and change the price of your products or change your compensation plan that's going to affect your distributors negatively. Smart people will change the comp plan to affect their distributors positively. So greed, stupidity, arrogance. You are not the only person or company on the street that's going to sell your product. You are not necessarily going to have the best product. You are not necessarily going to have the best compensation plan. Don't be arrogant enough to think that you're going to be the first one, the last one, and the only one. All you've got to do is look to companies like Yahoo, who 10 years ago was the biggest search engine on the web. And then came this little company called Google, and guess what? Today, Google is the biggest search engine. I can tell you that arrogantly, Yahoo thought they were never going to lose that position. Why did Google succeed so well? Because they provided a simplified product, a simplified service, it was easy to use, it wasn't complicated. So greed, stupidity, arrogance. Those are three things. The biggest thing, and this is the hardest thing for company owners, is ego. When you're making so much money that you've never made before, and you're getting involved in a $200 billion a year industry, you can make some rock and roll money. Used to be looking for the MLM that got to a million. Now it's looking for the MLM that gets to a billion. You want to be part of that billion dollars. And guess what happens? That's money that you've never seen before, and people become egotistical. They go out and they start buying the big yachts, they start buying the big cars, they start uh, doing the big houses, doing the trips, and they start spending all of the money that really should be plowing back into the company. Here's other things that are egotistical that I've seen. When the company succeeds, the owner stands up and says, it was me, 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 me instead of it was you, 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 you. When you become successful in this industry, realize the success of your company was built on the backbone of a volunteer sales organization who just asked you to invest your time, your talent, and treasure, and let them run. So when you're successful, recognize the people that got you there. It's not you, it's them, okay? When a company fails, you need to take ownership. You're the owner of the company, you're the CEO, and the buck stops at you. I've seen so many companies, when they fail, they try to point failure to the distributors. Well, they didn't sell, they didn't recruit, or they try to point blame to the manufacturer of the product. They produced an inferior product. It's not your distributor's fault that you're not selling. You just need to find better distributors. It's your fault that you failed. So ego is one of those biggest things that we have to control, and sometimes we have to learn to push down. So here's a tip. When something fails, you need to own it. When something does pretty well, it's that person that did it. And when you succeed, it's the team that caused the success. Greed, stupidity, arrogance, and ego. I know that hurts, but if you listen to the mission, the vision in there, it's gonna help you. Hey, this is Robert Proctor. If you got some value from this information today, if you like this video, if you think others would get value, do me a favor, share it, like it, and hey, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.